last week on Sharpshooter South Africa. Four photographers were tasked with interpreting an underwater photographic brief. They found themselves at the Oshaka Marine World in Durban. They were challenged, pushed to the edge of their knowledge, expertise, strategy, and skill. In the end, the lesson learnt was adapt and shoot or face the consequences. The judges were ruthless. The stakes were high. Only the strongest and most talented sharpshooter was rewarded. One of our contestants did not take the shot and was sent home. Once again, tough to choose this because they're both radically different at this point. Miles, you're safe. Sam, you did not take the best shot. You are not the shot shooter of today. Determination, stamina, and a keen eye are the keys to master and emerge victorious on all of our challenges. The question remains, who will take the shot and who will face the panel? So, join us in the action as we chase the perfect shot. Welcome, guys. We move from the mysteries of the shipwrecked underwater aquarium at Ushaka Sea World to Egoli, place of gold. We began with 15 photographers. You are what remains. We are down to three. You've managed to shoot down your competitors. How are you feeling, Pierre? Very excited. I know in for a long night, but I'm up for the challenge. Paul? Yeah, I mean, this is the one we'll be waiting for. This is the big one. We have to do well here if we want to make it to the finale. And Miles, what's the dynamic like between the three of you that are left in Sharpshooter South Africa? I think we all get along pretty well. Okay, let's get down to business. The Webster Dictionary defines photography as the art or the process of producing images by the action of radiant energy, especially light, on a sensitive surface. People say photography is a medium that paints with light. Our ninth Sharpshooter challenge is Painting with light. You're going to have a chance to experiment, to paint, to use the canvas of your frame to capture the passage of light. You're going to be given a task and a subject to shoot and a brief. Remember, the brief has been vital. The interpretation of that brief on Sharpshooter South Africa is vitally important. It will be on this challenge as well. Paul, you're our sharpshooter from our underwater challenge, so you get to choose first. I have three tasks for you. They are as follows. Passion. Grace or grunge? Which one do you choose? I'm going to go for passion. Paul, you're going to take passion. Pierre, you're up next. I'm going with grace. Miles, appropriately, you've got something a little bit grungy. All right, guys, Nikon have provided you, as always, with all the equipment you need to get that perfect shot. We also have lights, courtesy of Glow Hire, to make sure you can paint the perfect picture. Your challenge will begin shortly, so good luck, guys. Go out there and paint the best shot. Yeah, from those three topics, I really didn't know, it didn't give me much, so I 
chose passion. I don't know, I just thought cocaine rice mood or something with the lights. Um, yeah, just the instinct call. I don't think anyone knows what's going on, so yeah, we're about to find out exactly what's going to happen. So. From the beginning, I've, I've believed in Paul, I've seen potential in him. I think everyone's seen it, and by now, if you haven't seen it, then uh, you're looking in the wrong place. Uh, he's honestly, he's a man of many talents and skills. He's, he's young, he's uh, tenacious, he's, he's, you know, he's, he's got what it takes to win this. Shimmering Johannesburg by night is Paul's backdrop for his painting with light challenge, Passion. So we're standing here on the rooftop of a building with the most beautiful and spectacular views of Johannesburg by night right behind us. Paul, you chose Passion as your task in our Painting with Light Challenge. You also had little, if any, hesitation in choosing Chad to be your assistant for this task. Chad, welcome back to Sharpshooter, it's good to see you. A famous actor once said, the tango is the easiest dance in the world. If you make a mistake and get all tangled up, just tango on. It is definitely a dance that has a powerful romantic and theatrical quality about it, which is probably why it has been so prominently featured in so many movies and why we have the lovely Sam and Freddie here with us tonight. Sam, welcome. Freddie, thanks for joining us on Sharpshooter South Africa. They are your tango dancers, Paul. They are also the subjects of your task. That brings us to your brief. Capture in one single frame a frozen moment of movement that shows us the essence of the sultry and seductive tango. And also that brings us to light, which is obviously of paramount importance. You're gonna to have to use ambient light, flashlight, and you're gonna to have to paint with fill in light. Chad, it's time for you to be of assistance. Paul, it's time for you to face the music and dance. For your task, you have one hour, Paul. Starts now. Can you ask yesterday a little bit about the like what type of moves can you guys like do? Do you want movement or do you want like a, to get like a bend? Yeah, let, well, let's just, can you show me kind of just do like a little little, yeah, little thing for me and then I'll see you if I can see it. Yeah, well, passion, I mean, it can be interpreted in, in many different ways. I guess this could be quite a quite a romantic scene maybe, like we're looking over a beautiful cityscape at night. So yeah, there's something, something of romance. That's probably the pose, eh? Okay, yeah, no, I just wanted to see exactly what, what the tango is about. Yeah, that's good. I like that one where you, the one where you're leaning back. What lens should I throw in here? What lenses do we have? Uh, what camera do we have? We have a D3S, we have the 2024 to 70, that's the 14 to 24. So. Um, put the 24 to 70 on first. And go all the way wide. Yeah. Okay. Paul, just come look at. I was just holding it for six seconds there. Shoot yeah. me a few tests as well while they're practicing. Just shoot me a few like that. But keep like, it, keep like it, this. Yeah, keep it wide. I mean, obviously we have HMIs. I'm going to okay. take those off. Just, I just keep doing that. How's it going, there, Jeff? Yeah. Cool. Um, I've got it on manual, it's on bulb, it's on 200 to ISO, so we reduce the uh, okay, make it, make it even 100, that like even that 100. lie, that, that low thing. So what I'm thinking is them starting there, doing their sequence, finishing on that, that one like that, just about here, just so we get that corner frame, show them that they move, we'll cut it like pano, pano, pano for the... We'll do their whole sequence, shoot them, and then let the lab just sit there and get the background. Um, we're allowed to comp in lab, Using like shooting plates, or whatever. So shoot one and comp it in. They're gonna last. Can you do that? They're gonna last to use. Do you know how to do that on the system? Never really done it, but you can try. It's risky. Yeah, and then we two for the pen and talk. in the lighter. 
which which pack and what uh, do you want on the light in the corner? Um, we, I don't know, don't put this off box on, it might just be flat. Which one do you think will be better? Which one would you like there? Maybe. I think maybe this one if you're going to do for back and this one for on top. That one in the back, this one you're holding. We're just running short of time now, so we have to push it now. This light's actually doing nothing. Task is going well. Um, just again, painting with light, learning the flashes once again. But hey, it's all about experimenting. That's how you get the good shots sometimes. 20 minutes. Cool. Okay. Okay, go. Okay, I'm gonna blacken this. I'll blacken all this. That I'm starting to get happy with. Yeah. Okay. We gotta get that. Nice. Also, that mixed lighting is beautiful. Yeah, no, that's perfect. That's gotta be the top. White balance, should we go on tungsten? Okay, here, I'll try tungsten. Okay, thanks, so you have to just push for time now. Okay, let's go. Please, for me. It's too bright. Can you stop that down for me, please? This one? Yeah. The first one that we've got that hasn't got enough light is full with one. So with both, I'll drop it down instead. Okay, yeah. Four minutes, eh? Lights off, please. Hey, look at me and shoot. And off, offset. Just one in the background, no, no one in, please. Two, one. Cool. Thank you. Thank you very much. <sighs> I think I captured the passion of the tango in some way, maybe my own interpretation of it, but I think I did it. My shot was all about yeah. the movement of the tango. That's kind of where the paint and the light came in. We got a quite a nice little blur going in, and that moment is the, is the part which is frozen at the end. And then the background of just the, the cityscape, that in the studio wouldn't be, a, wouldn't be a great shot. But out here at night, the lights, I mean, that's what's gonna make it. So I think I've incorporated all of those factors, and yeah, I think it worked out well. The old Johannesburg Park station is the stage for Piers' efforts to paint a graceful canvas for the judges. So, Pierre, you chose grace as your task on our Painting with Light Challenge. Mm -hmm. I do hope it proves to be as wise a decision as the one you made when you chose your assistant, Lola. <laughs> it's great to have you back on Sharpshooter South Africa. Thank you, Welcome. Great. So we're standing here at the old Johannesburg Park Station. It's a beautiful, incredible structure. You can almost feel the grace and the elegance of the original architectural design. Well, this is essentially your backdrop. It's your stage, if you like. And you have to complete this photographic canvas by adding to it brushes of light. And you must do this with your key subject being the beautiful, the elegant, and the poised Claire, yes, who yes. quite clearly is a ballet dancer. Claire, hello, my love. Welcome to Sharpshooter South Africa. Nice Great to have you here. Thank you. And that brings us, Pierre, to your task. Your brief is to capture that one single shot, a single frame, or in this case, a single canvas of your beautiful, graceful, elegant ballerina in motion. Lola, it's yes. time for you to be of assistance here. It's time for you to be on point. For this task, you have one hour. The time starts now. Good luck, my friend. Thank you. Excellent. Thank cool. you, Craig. Let's get through. Hi. Hi. How are you? Fine, are you? What I'm picturing <coughs> is basically getting you in different stances. Take it right from the start of where, where you actually get to, right through to the crescendo. Okay. 
Okay. And you're going to end, actually end up in frame maybe mid air yeah, in your lucky. highest hypers form. Yes. Okay, I really do together. have to warm up though. Yes, okay, no, so do you want to have a little run around while well, we have our run around? Okay, okay, cool. Great, great. Okay, right, what do you want? I've worked with painting with light before, so um, it's very, very exciting, very challenging, but I'm up for a challenge and I take instruction quite well. So. Hopefully we will be the A team today. So you you technically thinking stance, stance, bam, bam, bam. Wham, yes. Okay, cool. Just try and ask her which one no, you want to do. Okay. Right. okay, so Claire, do you want to just come with me over there quickly? So we can just have a look at the stances. Oh, okay, cool. So can you just show me some of your forms just so we can see what would work what better? Would That's beautiful. They seem to be doing really, really well just helping them along a little bit with the ballet moves that obviously they don't know. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, the task is going great. We're having a lot of fun. I think it's exceeded my expectations in a good way. If I shoot it this way, watch this again now quickly. Okay. You see, now look here. Okay. One, two, three. I get you. you I get you. Listen to me here. So you wanted to do stance there. Yes. Stance there. Yes. Bam. Bam. We've really got, Lola, we nearly got no more time, eh? So we must just cool. do this quickly. How much time do we have, anyone? No, I've got you. We've got 20, 35 minutes. The task is excellent. It's just, my time's going to run out quickly. <laughs> but I've planned it all, and I'm very happy with what we're going to get. That's it, excellent. The lighting is perfect on that, girl. I love it. My only concern for you... Yes? Painting with light. Yes. Is it dynamic enough that we just... We're going to paint, paint it. It's already painting like this. Um, we can add in a few features later. I'll show you. OK, I'm, as long as you're I'm happy. switching these off. I'm happy. Just straight off to this. OK, clear out your gum again for me, please. You can use a pillow if you want to. You can do something. I want to try some things. So do that. I'm going to flash you. Oh. Come in a little bit closer towards me, please. You know, Pierre's um, thought process it works so quickly that you've just got to try and make sense of what he's saying. Do it the best you can for me. One but you've got to love that about him. Go. We got you. Straight into the middle for me. Now come and light there for me. Perfect. Just come into there. Uh. Okay, trigger <coughs> that. Trigger it. Wait. Trigger it. Trigger that one. One, two, three, and go, go, go in the middle. OK, I missed that. I missed I that got totally. It. Can you show me these panties? I'm joking. Let's go for it. No, that's perfect. Yeah. Lovely, lovely. One, two, three, and yes. OK, beautiful. Come and look at that. That's beautiful, isn't it? That's fine. That's gorgeous. Stunning. Well done. Stunning. Excellent. Good Excellent. job. Cool. It's light, lit right. Everything's done. OK, let's well, go. that thing's loose. No, no, let's loose. go quickly, because I want, I want to do that last piece that's going to add to the whole effect. Do you know want to get maybe a back shot? Have you got a back shot of her? OK, that's lovely. Yeah, let's do that. Last one. OK, are you touching the pillar? Are you not? OK, we're happy with that. All lights off, please. It's your beautiful swirl. I want the best one that you can think a of. A swirl? I want this swirl for this light. Oh, with the torch? She, st she started here. Go like that. Walk it into where she was there. Cool. Do a whole big circle there for me, and then into there. Three, two, one. Keep on moving, hey, because if you, if you keep stop moving, your body gets that shadow cast. Go on, switch it off, switch it off. OK, I'm happy with that, now. That's enough we can do. It's just a bit of a spin we can That's get That's actually it. pretty cool, though. OK, done. Thanks, guys, yeah, nice. we're finished. Lo, let's just go through them quick. Cool. Claire, come have a look at She's yourself, She's seen it, huh? she's seen it. <laughs> you know the three different stances? He's going to yeah. take it all together and go, bam, put you in one picture. Oh, cool. Put you in one picture, light the whole thing up. I'm very happy with it. Absolutely wonderful. Well done. Okay. You see these little swirls? So you're going to be in those little swirls. So they're like spotlights. Brilliant stuff. Thank you very much, Claire. Well done. Here five. Excellent dancer. Just so Painting with light is um, it's, it's always a time-consuming um, element in photography because you have to kind of estimate how much light you really do need and at what settings. Um, in that instance, I think Pierre knew exactly what he wanted, and I think he got um, the desired re result. We, you know, we brainstormed in the beginning a little bit, and I think that we really fulfilled what we set out to capture. I don't know what all the fuss is about. Pierre's great to work with, a bit hyperactive at times. Time flies when you're having fun, and I had such great fun there. I'm sweating like a pig, actually. I'm feeling very confident that we're heading right to the finals.
I reckon that is a masterpiece if I can create it. And depending on how much time we get in the lab, it's going to be great. Well into the long night, Miles tackles the grunge of downtown Joburg. Standing here in the underbelly of this highway in downtown Johannesburg, and looking around me, the, the word that comes to mind is grunge, which is a good thing for you, Miles, because it is the task you were given on our painting with light challenge. I see you were also given a very ungrungy assistant. We have back with us the lovely Judy. Judy, great to see you back on Sharpshooter South Africa. Thanks, Craig. Break dancing and street dancing. It's a style of modern dance that falls under the subcategory of hip hop dancing. We have over here our street dancer, Carl. What up? Welcome to Sharpshooter South Africa. Your brief, Miles. We need one composition. One canvas, a single shot that captures this dynamic essence, the energy, the style of this unique dance. You need to use your light, paint for us a picture that gives us the grungy feel of a break dancing subculture. You know what you have to do? Judy, it's time for you to be of assistance, and Miles, it's time for you to bust out some shots. You have for this task. One hour, and it starts now. I think Miles has a very strong, very, very strong chance of making it to the finals, and from there, winning Sharpshooter South Africa. It would be a very, um, a very big achievement to help Miles make it to the next step, and so that's, that's my goal for tonight. Uh, right now, it's, uh, it's 3 3 in the morning in downtown Johannesburg. Behind me, for what I see, is an amazing location. Uh, I'm really excited. Um, I didn't get the opportunity to choose my challenge. It's what I would have gone with anyway. So, um, yeah, I had a bit of a kip. Uh, I've woken up now, and now I'm ready for action. Is I'm going to do like a really long exposure. So I might get you to do one move, and then I'm just going to cover the lens of the camera so it doesn't pick up any more light. Mars? And I'll get you to do another move. Yeah? What, any, 24, 70? Uh, is there anything wider? Yeah, we've got the 14, the, 24. The is, there, is there no music? OK, cool. You can just chill. You're very excited. You can do some nice big flares as well, eh? I can do a flare into a windmill. I've been dancing for the last seven years, and in that time, breakdancing is, it's grown exponentially. It can pull people off the streets. It, uh, it's actually, it's very positive. And as you transition to your next move, you get the blur, and as you get to that move, the flash gonna go get and freeze you again. Okay. Miles, um, he inspires me. He's really good, he knows what he's talking about, and it's exciting to be a part of this. So, uh, yeah, hopefully we get the shot. Guys, I'm gonna need all the set lights killed in a bit. The back one, most importantly. Okay, one, two, three. Too much light, we've got highlights here. We're 17. But I mean, like, when you, when you walk to the next one, like, don't, you just give it like a little, like, you know, kind of like a little beat, like you walk to the next. You can run up if you want. Yeah, something like that, cool. It's going to care, I'm having a couple of technical difficulties with the uh, Pucker Wizards. Um, could like a bit more light. Uh, I would like to be a bit further by now, so a little push for time. Slightly stressed, but uh, trying to remain calm. I love your style, baby. Come on. As dawn approaches, Miles is chasing the perfect shot to stay in the run. And keep going. Okay, come back to your first mark. Okay, you ready? Three, two, one. Go. Judy. I love you. I think we got that. Okay, let's try that again. One, two, three. <laughs> I love you. 
Let's see what the background looks like. I like that. Can you come walk towards me? And that's where you're gonna start to move, right? Judy, flash, 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 flash. Okay. Okay, let's run another test quickly. I don't know if maybe you do a big move here. Can you do like a little backwards flick flick flack from here? Yeah, cool. On three, one, two, three. Judy. Flash. Flash. Come back towards me, another big move. Flash, right in front of camera. Flash. Okay, I'm happy I'm done. Miles direction was very good um, as, as his assistant. I think we did well together, I hope we did. In terms of the brief, I don't think the brief was overly hard. I think the hardest part of the brief was the technical aspect, being able to control camera, control lighting, to actually paint with light. Uh, so yeah, I thought the brief was, was, was fairly straight down the line. Yeah, I just try to get him moving to different places with a bit of light in there to get his movement, moving from one transition of a, of a move to the next one. And um, just highlighted a bit of the background with a couple of little lights. Um, didn't have to try too hard to make it look grungy. Yeah, it's quite grungy as it is, so um, yeah, it was cool. So the sun is beginning to paint a beautiful golden color over the Johannesburg skyline. But for one of our three remaining contestants, it will be setting on Sharpshooter South Africa permanently. I know it's been a very long night, a tough and very interesting challenge. I sincerely hope you've managed to paint that perfect picture that you will submit to our panel. I'm sure you'd like to thank our wonderful assistants. It's been great to have you all back with us on Sharpshooter South Africa. It's back to business for our three remaining contestants. As usual, you'll get your time in the lab to make your shot selections. I don't have to tell you how important that is. So, for the remaining three, good luck, and I'll see you back at the gallery. I personally don't think Pierre deserves it. Um, his photography after 20 years, he's competing against two people that have been in the industry for not even a quarter of that time. I think I deserve it just as much as they do. Luck does run out. I reckon Paul's luck has to run out now. At the moment, trying to keep the prize and finale out of my mind, just focus on the lab session ahead, get the result I want, and then once the judges make the decision, if I'm through, then I start thinking about the, the next step. Right guys, we're back in the lab. Our challenge was painting with light. It was anything but easy. It was an all-night affair. Hopefully you weren't so tired that you couldn't take the shot that'll keep you in this competition. Of course, that can't be the case for all of you. After we face our panel today, one of you will be going home. But two of you will move into our sharpshooter finale and get that one step closer to winning over half a million rands worth of prizes and becoming the first South African sharpshooter. So use your time well, make your shot selections, you know what's at stake. For our painting with light challenge, we have allocated you one hour. Your time starts now. Good luck. Okay. One hour's not a lot, buddy, for this flipping hell. Good luck. Good luck, everyone.
15 minutes there. Dread it. Serious, no? Nah. Oh. I've got a heart attack in no one and Jeeves. I nearly went to the walkout. Be my guest. No, thank you. All right, guys, two minutes left. I'll need your shot selections, please. One minute left, guys, to make your choices. That's it, guys, your time is up. Select your images, keep them to yourselves. Put down your screen when you're done. Thank you. Grab your stuff and I'll see you at the gallery. I didn't do any layers. Um, all I did was a couple of little slight uh, contrast and levels adjustments, but I didn't uh, use any layering. So the movement you'll see in my picture is all one shot. I'm extremely excited about what I've just created and I can't believe how I managed to do it in just one hour. I've got it. I hope it's there. Flippin' hell, I can smell the money. <laughs> We had our next challenge was a night shoot, and basically it was painting with light. Amongst that brief, there were the sub-briefs. One was basically grunge. Now that was quite interesting. It was underneath this bridge, and there was this crazy like graffiti everywhere, and I mean like all the way up. It was just huge, and it was really beautiful graffiti. I mean, it was like artwork. It was stunning. The next one was Grace, and then we were at this old abandoned railway station. It's just like the top piece. It's all Victorian, beautiful arches, very thin, very elegant. And they had a ballerina. So they had to capture her gracefully within the setting. And then we had Passion. Now, Passion was quite cool because they were tango dancers on the rooftop with the whole Joburg skyline behind wow. them. And then they had a table with candles and dinner. So it was like this romantic thing. And of course, it was up to each photographer to capture these moments in the way that they saw it, according to the brief. And yeah, I'm really excited yes. to see what they're going to get. Go ahead. Whoa. Oh, wow. OK. Well, that's passion. Do you feel passion here? Not really. I don't, for the simple fact that it's cold. Mm. You know, I mean, come on. It's a tango, man. But distant. Yeah, so it's very posed and frozen, yeah. which was part of the brief, to freeze a moment, okay? Yeah. So they, he did do that, he did get an exposure. Yeah, let's look at the other, okay? Oh, wow. Okay. That's I love that. That's, That's quite cool. So once again, very nice. He would have done this by laying it in Photoshop, okay? Yeah. So yeah. kudos for him for having the vision to shoot it that way. He obviously made that decision before he And shot. this, of course, was Grace. Yeah. Mm. I'm not too wild about this in the middle. I feel it's very hard and it's taking away from her. Mm. All right, now this is something quite different. Uh, that's sweet. So once again, this was our grunge scene and our guy, our freestylist or break dancer, mm. was doing his thing. Um, wow. The one thing I do like about this is that you do see the movement. The movement. Yeah. Yeah. And he has frozen a moment here. It's kind of thin, which is kind of cool because that's the motion. Mm. But he did freeze us a moment, which is important. Mm. But that's pretty, pretty cool right there. I think but all three are amazing. But I think, I think these, these two, two are stronger. stronger. Yeah, definitely. definitely. I agree. I love that shot. You love it. So number so. one, that's yeah. our sharpshooter. Yeah. Number two, mm -hmm. and the person and going home. Somebody going home. Okay. Let's bring him in. Let's do this. Don't okay. I don't think anyone can feel confident right now. I think we're all good, we're all strong. Um, I've done my best, always done my best. It's been good enough up until now. Hopefully it'll be good enough again. But if other guys are taking good stuff, then they're taking good stuff. Pierre's, Pierre's definitely set up to the plate. Um, in the beginning, there wasn't much good photography coming out of there, but um, it's, it's got better. But um, you know, if he gets through, he gets through. As I said earlier on, I am pretty confident, but three judges, three photographs, no idea where it's gonna go. Welcome to the gallery. 
three of you remain on Sharpshooter South Africa. To say that our ninth Sharpshooter challenge, painting with light, was a little difficult, a bit testing, a little trying, would be a gross understatement. We got to see some familiar Sharpshooter faces on our previous challenge because you had assistance. I hope that they helped you enough to enable you to take a shot that will keep you in this competition. Of course, for one of you, that will not and cannot be the case. After you three face the panel tonight, someone is going home. Brian, you were with the contestants on this uh, overnight challenge, painting with light. Tell us a little bit about what you saw and what you are expecting from the contestants. Each of you needed to paint with light. Do something, paint the wall, create shapes, lights, freeze moments. We wanted to see that. That was very important for everybody to see. Um, I think something that we need to think about too in this brief when we look at you guys' photographs is that we're getting very critical and picky now. You know how a brief works now. Thank you, Brian. Thank you, panel. Bring up your shots. Come and take a seat, step forward, and face our panel. So my, oh, my sub brief was, was passion. I have to ask, why did you use blues? This is very cold. Um, Honestly, was it the existing lights? Was it the light you were painting with? Is it? I had a, I had a, a warmer choice? light on with the, with the first initial torch, which was giving me a, a nicer light. Mm -hmm. um, but that torch ran out. Um, I was focusing more on composition and and the actual element of the passion. Maybe I overlooked that that coloring aspect. Because she does look a little bit blue. Her skin tone. It's a bit cold, eh? And I think maybe it's just something to think about. Okay. It's not a pair. First, when I got the brief and I looked at the area and the, I didn't know if I was going to use a person or not, I looked and I thought, what am I going to choose in this place? Then they gave me her and I immediately told her to go into graceful positions. I asked her for the most graceful positions that she could give me and she did it and I wanted to use that as a studio. There's a few things that bother me. Mm. One, is it your highlight underneath, which I like it, but it's the most bright, positive thing on it. It overpowers. I just think it's very contrived. I don't get any movement out of this. You did fulfill the brief. You did capture the moment, but I wanted to see some movement. Your movement is in the light itself. You've just got three still shots that look to me like they were comped. They look to me like they're just standing there. It's graceful poses, but she doesn't look graceful to me. I don't pick up the movement. <laughs> Before I show you, um, this was possibly the most technically challenged tasks that I've had for myself personally. As he moves, the light hits him and reacts, and therefore you can see his movement. So as he's moving through that scene, I'm panning the lights with him, so you can see his motion blur. That's one shot that I did there. Personally, I would have liked to have done a bit more with the, with the photograph, but um, with the hour and the, the difficulties that I ran into, I think I managed to pull off something quite nice, and I'm happy with it. Did you use Photoshop at all? Um, only thing I did in Photoshop was just a bit of levels and curves. I didn't comp anything, as that's one photo as it is. You're lucky you did paint one thing, and it's obvious that you did paint it. Because without that, you're hanging on thin thread here. <laughs> I think it's a cool angle. And I was saying earlier, I'm like the glad that you didn't clean anything. You left it kind of dirty and grungy. You know, well, that's what I'm saying. You, just, you left it as is. And it was quite a nice moment. Um, yeah. Thank you, panel. Right, guys. In the brief, it said to capture a frozen moment of motion. One of you are leaving Sharpshooter. The question is who? And before we establish that, let's stop focusing on who's going and start thinking about who is staying. Panel, we want to know who took the best shot on our painting with light challenge. Who is our Sharpshooter? I kind of knew right away which picture I thought was the Sharpshooter. And I think Janie did too. And we, Brian came around. So, our sharpshooter of the week. Pierre. You are what? After all that? <laughs> <laughs> You're joking. Did you, did you Thank ever, you very much. Did you, uh, wait, before you go, did you ever think maybe we're hard on you because we respect you and like you? Jeez, I didn't know what was going on there. I actually didn't. I thought, whoa. <laughs> Congratulations. You're going to the Da Vinci Hotel. Santa Mandela Square. Thank you. Well done, my friend. You can take a seat. Well, there you go, Pierre. You look extremely surprised. The judge is taking you uh, down one track and then sending you down another. But courtesy of Legacy, you have your getaway. Thank you. I'm very excited about it. And you're safe. Thank you. 
which means that between Miles and Paul, one of you are not. If you could do one thing different, Paul, to this right now, knowing what you know and what I just said, what would you do? Please, tell me. I think the warmth is, is definitely um, a key aspect. I think if I could just, I mean, it's not a hard thing at all. It's really easy. Photography is about completion of an idea, not just getting an image. Photography for each of you should be the easiest part of your job. You're expected to know all this. That's why you're a professional photographer. I'm just an assistant. Don't make excuses. Right, Pedal, we have to push you for what is going to be a huge decision. Who will be in our finale and whose sharp shooter journey is over. Once again, it was tough. I think the level of your guys' work is getting there. I'm proud of you. Your work is progressing. You've got creativity. You've got some skills. You just got to go out there and practice. And I think that's where it comes in. So on this, Paul, you did not take the best shot. You are not ready to be a sharpshooter. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much, guys. It's been a great experience. Thank you. Thanks, sir. Good morning. Paul, please leave the gallery. I'll bring it home to Cape Town. How are you feeling right now? A bit lucky. Yeah, I think so, eh? Skin of the teeth. <laughs> right, thank you, Miles. You are safe. Go take a seat with your fellow finalist. Thank you, panel. Congratulations. You are both in the final of Sharpshooter South Africa. So until then, well done. Stay focused. Miles, be sharp, Pierre. And I'll see you both on our final Sharpshooter Challenge. Knocked out. <laughs> the whole idea of painting with light, I think, might have been new to a few of them. And I think Paul's a little out of his depth on this one. The glow of the ghosting was just way too powerful for me. I kept looking at it and not the couple. Once again, the deciding factor for me on that shot was that it was cold. I think if it was warm, I would, I, I don't know, it might be a different decision. Yeah, obviously very disappointed. I mean, it would have been awesome to be in the finale. Um, but I think I've done well um, up to now. I think I've done myself proud. I think I've shown the type of person, the type of photographer that I am. And yeah, I'm very happy with that. I think I've stuck to who I am and I'm very proud of that.